Welcome to Saturday Morning Prayer as we enjoy the photography of Mattia Passerini, ethnic photographer. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. The Opening Canticle A Song of Creation Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 18, verses 1 to 31. It begins, I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my crag, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, the rock to which I come for refuge, my shield, my mighty saviour, and my high defence. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the psalm. Creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation. Receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading this morning is from Luke chapter 14, verses 15 to 34. It begins, One of the dinner guests, on hearing this, said to Jesus, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the reading. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, A Song of Redemption Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God, that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Collect for the Second Sunday in Lent Remember, O Lord, what you have wrought in us, and not what we deserve. And as you have called us to your service, 
Make us worthy of our calling. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You may wish to pause the video here to say intercessions, prayers and thanksgivings. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.